I'm Joshua Bardwell, and I'm going to do something a little bit different today. I've got in the works a review of two Foxier cameras. One is the Foxier Monster, which is not a new camera, so why am I reviewing it? Well, ever since I started saying nice things about the Runcam Eagle, you guys have been saying, you like the Eagle. You've got to check out the Monster. Way better. And so, okay, so I've got one, and I'm going to look at it. The other camera that I'm looking at is the Foxier Predator, which is a new CMOS camera, kind of like the Runcam Eagle, maybe better. Yeah, so I'm going to be checking out the Predator. And I've put them side by side against a Runcam Eagle V2 Pro, the newest Eagle. I've shot a bunch of raw footage. And I'm what I'm going to do different is instead of then me making a review where I tell you what I think about all these cameras, haha, first today. I'm going to post the raw footage. It's about three or four minutes of footage. You can go through it and you can form your own opinions without me blabbering in your ear about what, what I think. Okay. And then once you've formed your own opinions without being outside influenced, then tomorrow or maybe the day after, probably tomorrow, I'll release my review video where we'll take a look at the cameras, we'll talk about their features, and I'll give you my impression of the actual image quality from them. And I'm doing this purely for scientific reasons, to help you form your own unbiased opinion, and not because it means that I get two days worth of content out of this work instead of one. Yeah, that has nothing to do with it. A couple things that I want you to know uh, when you watch, we're just about to show you the raw footage. One is, um, so there is a Foxier Aero Micro, Aero V2 Micro in this. Why is it there? Well, the real reason is that Foxier threw it in the box. I don't know why they threw it in the box. They just did. And, uh, you know, having only three cameras on screen doesn't look as good as having a fourth camera to fill it out. So it's in there. It is interesting, though, because that is a CCD camera and all three of the others are CMOS cameras. So it's more of like a traditional, you know, image that we would get from an older 1177 style, Swift style camera. Um, the, another thing you need to know, the uh, Runcam Eagle is completely stock, factory stock settings, except I have reduced the sharpening. It comes from the factory uh, with a sharpening of 6 out of 15, and I usually set that to 3 or 4. Uh, it makes the image a little softer, but it also means it reduces some of the digital image noise, and that's not a stock setting. All the other cameras are completely stock, and you need to know that that's not exactly how the Eagle comes from the factory. Last thing. Uh, the Monster came from Foxier with a 2.5 millimeter lens on it. All the other cameras have like either a 1.8 or a 2.1 millimeter. They're much more wide angle. And I tried to, I just don't have a, a 2.1 that fits the Foxier, uh, the Monster to swap it out. So I did this whole test and the Monster has a much narrower field of view than the others. And it does mean that, you know, with the others, you're looking at like the whole sky and the trees and the house. And with the Monster, you're kind of just looking at the house and it may affect, well, anyway, Anyway, you know, nothing to do about it, uh, but now you know why the monster looks a little bit different than the others. Check out the raw footage today, form your own opinions, see what you think, and then look forward to my review where we'll talk about all the details tomorrow or probably tomorrow, maybe the day after. Thanks for watching. Happy flying.